Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this absolutely miserable October day the A38 is very busy for the people not coming into us unfortunately to buy motorhomes but it is still very busy and today we are doing a video on this uh, absolutely brilliant bit of stock this it's a 2021 21 plate auto sleeper Fairford automatic and that is the new 9 speed uh, ZF fully automatic gearbox this is the one to have it's very very good so we'll have a look at the window sheet so she's a Fiat based auto sleeper Fairford 21 um, automatics based on Fiat manuals are based on the basically identical at the time Peugeot it's an N lounge four berth four seat belts three and a half ton you can drive it on your car license uh, 2.3 turbo diesel um, four and a half four thousand six hundred miles she's the extra long wheelbase uh, actually the same wheelbase as the long wheelbase one uh, 6.34 meters and uh, 2.32 wide it's actually not it's 2.2 or 2.05 uh, body width um, height wise same as all the other panel vans so this one's in white it was supplied by Marquis new so it has all the uh, loads of spec uh, that Marquis had to him including the uh, habitation air conditioning on the roof um, I think it's one owner plus pre-reg uh, so effectively one private owner uh, local gentleman just wasn't getting the use out of it. it's public and really busy man so he uh, he sold it to us uh, it's all in perfect condition or very nearly perfect condition but from it has this little stuff there which we're going to get sorted in the body shop before it goes out to its lucky owner so a new one of these today on an auto if you could get one maybe 75 I don't know I haven't checked actually but 75 odd uh, so it's a good saving on new availability is straight away as well of course because it actually exists so no long waits and delays and things like that and uh, yeah it's a lovely thing so we've got 16 inch Fiat alloys on the side we've got LED awning light uh, full length Thule Omnistore awning, electric step, uh, fridge vents for your three way fridge freezer, uh, runs off the gas tank underneath when you're not on the mains, mains electric when you are, and a 12 volt from the engine when you're driving. Auto sleepers load everything up as standard, the Britain's oldest motorhome manufacturer, only do luxury models, standard spec is absolutely massive. So we've got a gas barbecue point here, that's never been used, it's still got the nozzle attached to it. Coming around to the back, so the Fairford is one of the very few. Uh, non-raising roof, four berth, four seat belt van conversions. So we'll have a closer look from the inside, but you can see you can open up the back doors into your lovely end lounge there. Um, if we're being critical, it's got a mark here, which I think someone has tried to clean off. So it's got a little, we might be able to get that off, but there is a slight, you can see it there. There's a bit of a, bit of a mark there where people have been in and out the back doors. So the rear makes a double bed and you've got a front dinette that makes a double bed as well. We've got reversing sensors on the back, we've got a high level reversing camera uh, at the back as well which feeds into the factory sat nav. Also around the back we've got the flue for your whale, blown air gas and electric powered heating system. We've got some water drain pipes, uh, drain taps and things. That cassette toilet locker there. We've got an external 12 volt and TV and satellite point here, down there, never quite sure Actually, I was about to say, I'm never quite sure why you need a 12 volt socket, but you need one if you wanted to get a sucker pump to pump water aboard from a container. Otherwise, you just use a hose pipe and put it into there. Uh, external TV hookup points if you're on a site with its own TV booster, and an external satellite point if you want to get a freestanding satellite dish. Also, in here, <laughs> we've got a, a whale um, water system hookup point there as well. Mains hookup, there's a large leisure battery on the roof and the fill-up point for your underslung large gas tank so that both saves you space on a gas locker and uh, gives you a bigger gas capacity. It's the 140 brake um, 2.3 turbo diesel so with the latest and wonderful 9-speed German fully automatic gearbox. Cab blinds and uh, the front and the sides as you'd expect. It's got the Eco Pack auto stop start which you can turn off if it annoys you. Leather gear stick and steering wheel you got your five and a half inch TomTom -tom Bluetooth DAB stereo system uh, with European mapping uh, we've got heated 
windows, we've got hill descent control, traction, tra traction plus advanced traction control. You can Bluetooth your phone to that, it's DAB as well, with steering wheel controls and voice controls, or you can hook it up uh, with a, a USB as well, so fully facilitated there. And let's see outside, absolutely fine apart from that one little mark that I pointed out, which will be rectified before it goes out. Also on the roof, uh, so you've got your habitation aircon, which is mains operated on the roof. That also does heating as well, I believe. Um, so you open up your big slide inside door. You've got four seat dinette, so you can drop your table down, make it into a, a small double big single, or you can extend it further sideways and turn this into a full proper double bed. I also really like the fact there's not one but two main sockets and a USB charging socket there as well, and the table also extends. Swivel passenger seat, storage over the cab. I know the panoramic skylights are nice, but I think that's really useful storage. You can put your bedding and things in, which is good. Um, nice little external socket down there as well, if you hooked up to the main set outside. I'm going to get in because it's, uh, it's really cold here. That's your awning light up there. So, Oort Sleeper's beautifully finished vans. Expensive, uh, but very, very good news. We've got a sliding window at the front there, so you can uh, open that up. Uh, that will also give you a ventilation for your passengers when you're driving. We've got, above the door, your touchscreen control panel, which is much easier to use than you'd expect. And the uh, heating control panel for your heating and your hot water. That's blown air and it will run off of mains electric if you're hooked up. Or gas from your gas tank if you're not hooked up. So on the roof you've got habitation air conditioning. A big solar panel. A digital TV aerial. And the wonderful uh, 5G Pro uh, Wi-Fi courtesy of MotoneWiFi.com. So really, really high spec. Huge kitchen. Fantastic kitchen. Massive storage in there, that's really, really big. Lots of workspace, which is great. Nice deep sink uh, with a clip on draining board. Loads of plug sockets again. There's a TV point there if you wanted to put a TV in the uh, in the front. You've got your fridge freezer under the counter there, that's mint. Oven, three gas burners, no point in an electric one because it won't work off of the uh, mains and you've got a big gas tank. And your combi oven and grill, which again is in mint condition. Um, missing a cooker knob, don't know why, we'll replace that if it's not in the van somewhere. There's a Dometic hobtop extractor and a Dometic microwave. This is the one with no spinny plates, it's nice and quiet. High level cupboards above that, that's the router for your, um, for your motorhome Wi-Fi system if you want to use that. Then at the back you've got a nice double bed stroke swing sofa lounge, easier for me to say, uh, with the opening rear doors. So on a nice day you can open up the back doors, which is lovely. Big skylight at the front, at the back even, and another big skylight at the front for, uh, for airflow. Nice scatter cushions, top quality upholstery from Premier Furnishings. Um, no rear TV point. Oh yeah, there is, there's a rear TV point up there so we could fit you a bracket. Unfortunately, they fitted this exactly where you'd want to fit a bracket, but we could take that off. Fit a TV bracket there if you wanted a rear TV. I like these little sliding Dometic lights, which you can move along. Very smart. I like the halo, as I call them, roof lights as well, which are kind of cool. Bathroom, panel van bathrooms, never overly exciting. Makes best use of the space with a sliding door. Sliding basin? Yeah, look at that. Sliding basin, that's cool. And then your... Um, toilet there which is all good news and in lovely condition so inside the only fault I could find would be that that mark there on the rear door outside the little scuff which we're going to take care of and um, all the carpety bits fine in fairness to it fine everything looks absolutely mustard to me uh, so yeah that's all good uh, if I was being critical and this is being critical you can just see See where that be, the sealant's not there. We'll tidy that up anyway. Uh, swivel passenger seat. So that's it really. So it's a 2021 Auto Sleeper Fairfoot. It's a great saving on new. It's automatic, which is so desirable. If you, oh, I like these little back cushions here as well. So you can sit at the front with your back and your feet up there and open up your side doors. Nice little touch. Um, 
So yeah, Auto Sleeper Fairford. Great saving on new. Few internet price check used Auto Sleeper Fairford. You'll see a couple of others out there. Uh, this sort of age, this sort of price, this sort of mileage. But they are Peugeot manual based ones. Nowhere near as desirable as this beautiful um, Fiat automatic based one. And it's got all like the spec with the habitation aircon as well. So it's, uh, it's a good buy for somebody anyway. So if you're interested, get in touch. Highbridge Motorhomes Devon. It's in stock today. But do check before you travel if you come in far. Because these won't hang around in furnace to it. Uh, we are just off the A38 South Devon Expressway between uh, Exeter and Plymouth and that's us so you can call us 01626 832 792 can't get through on that one ring the mobile number 07432 662 558 or check us out at that hybridcaravans.co.uk website and ask us about our lovely 2021 Autosleeper Fairford thank you very much goodbye